Cornelius was a ward of the state, which means that Cornelius uh, didn't have a legal caretaker such as his mother or father because Cornelius's mother passed away from, she died in her sleep when she was only 32 years old. And Cornelius's father wasn't in a place where he was able to take care of Cornelius. And so, and the family wasn't able to take care of him. So Cornelius became a ward of the state and the state has a contract or had a contract, it appears now, with Lakeside Academy, which is one of many uh, youth facilities that's run by Sequel. Sequel has facilities all across the country. They have a very poor track record on the care of the children at those homes. They've been cited. They've been threatened to be shut down by other states. Cornelius uh, was placed in Lakeside Academy and he apparently threw a sandwich at the floor or some minor trivial event, something like that. And as a result was put into a, a restraint, which they like to call it. Uh, the, the evidence that we have and the, based on the investigation from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services is that he was sat on similar to how George Floyd was uh, restrained for uh, up to 10 minutes. Uh, during that time, he was screaming that he couldn't breathe. He was asking for help and uh, they didn't get off him. They didn't stop. And he was uh, rushed to the hospital. And when I say rushed, according to the information we have from uh, MDHHS, they waited 12 minutes in order to get Cornelius help. They waited 12 minutes to do anything about it. Uh, Cornelius was brought to the hospital. He, it was found out he also he had COVID uh, from the facility and he passed away. Uh, we've been asking for answers. I don't know, they, this story first broke over a month ago uh, and we didn't have as many answers as we do now and we still don't have all the answers. But one thing is for sure, it's that what happened to Cornelius should have never happened. It was preventable. Uh, this facility had been told. It had a prior history of problems, of violations, of abusive restraints. Uh, it, the staff was not qualified and should have never uh, done to Cornelius what happened. And it's just a sad indictment uh, of the world that we're living in that it took the death of Cornelius for the state and for others to be aware of this and to take action. I mean, finally, the state has taken action and I understand they're yanking the licensing for Lakeside or at least until a corrective plan is put in place, but this should have really never happened. This was preventable, it was foreseeable. Uh, and so our hearts go out to the family uh, and to Cornelius and we're seeking justice for the family. We're seeking answers for the family. We wanna make sure that this never happens again to any child in any of Sequel's facilities or in any facility across the United States. Um, my office and uh, Ms. Gaucher have also uh, teamed up with Jeffrey Feiger, who is uh, gonna be working on the case alongside of me in seeking justice for Cornelius. I want to say, I just want to know why this happened to my nephew. I'm pretty sure it could have been avoided. I just need answers and some justice for my nephew. We loved him very, very much. And we just need to know what happened Thank and you. why.